This is Duke University. Non-medical use of prescription drugs represents the largest form of substance abuse currently in the United States. That's more than cocaine and heroin combined. There's a lot of different types of, of school and family-based programs that are offered to prevent drug abuse in teens, but not all of them are actually effective. And that's really important as we make decisions about how we're going to spend public dollars on preventing drug abuse. Some of our key findings were that school and family-based preventative programs delivered in 6th sixth and 7th grade were able to effectively prevent prescription drug abuse through the end of high school. What we also found is that delivery of both of those programs together represent a cost-effective approach to preventing prescription drug abuse. So in particular, what we found was that, that the school and family-based programs were effective and cost-effective in reducing youth, youth abuse and non-medical use of prescription painkillers, which of all prescription drugs is one of the most abused forms. But when the effective school and family-based program, this is the Life Skills Training Program and the Strengthening Families Program, ages 10 through 14, were delivered together, we saw over a 10% reduction in prescription drug abuse for uh, teens through the end of high school.